Hi, I'm Chris Page for the Red Men TV, and I'm here to try and produce a Liverpool and Chelsea combined eleven. Um, I'm going to start off with the goalkeeper. Uh, obviously, it would be Thibaut Courtois if he was fit. He's obviously out with a knee injury, I think it is, uh, until sort of mid December, um, thankfully. Uh, but for this combined eleven, I'm going to go with Begovic in goal. Actually, uh, I had Mignolet wrote down as the goalkeeper, but I couldn't actually believe in it myself. So I've got to go for Begovic in goal. I think he's in a little bit of a poor form at the moment, but Simon Mignolet has been in poor form for the best part of 18 months for Liverpool, so I can't pick him, can I? Uh, right back, I'm going to go with Nathaniel Klein. Uh, Ivanovic has obviously been in poor form. Zuma's played out there as well, just not right backs for me. Uh, I think that I think the, the safe bet and the smart choice is on Nathaniel Klein. You know, he's rapid, he's a good tackler, he understands the full-back position well. Um, so there you go, that's me right back. I'm going to go for a centre part partnership of Martin Skittle and Mamadou Sacco. Now, I don't like breaking up defenders. Uh, you know, they've played together. So I'm thinking at the moment, look, I've, I've mentioned in other videos that I've done, you guys have conceded 19 goals in 10 Premier League games. We've only conceded something like 11. Um, so just basing it on the cold, hard facts, that centre-back pairing gets the nod for me. Uh, listen, if Chelsea had conceded less goals... The Liverpool, then I'd pick their centre back pairing. It's that simple. Um, but Terry, Zuma, Kale, they're all just not performing well enough this season, are they? I think you'd all agree with me on that. Um, so I'm going to pick those two as the two centre backs. And left back, uh, I don't think there's any choice on this. I think it's as Pilaqueta. Moreno's been much improved for Liverpool over the last three games on the Jurgen Klopp, but it's three games. Um, the fact of the matter for me is Azpilicueta is just a better defender. Um, he still manages to get forward, gets the odd goal as well. I think he scored one this season, hasn't he, Azpilicueta? So uh, I think that's, that's the back four and the goalkeeper sorted. I'm going to play a 4 2 Three one formation, uh, and I'm going to populate the midfield with Lucas Leiva and Nemanja Matic is the two sort of holding midfielders. Um, again, Matic hasn't been great this season, not compared to last season. But, you know, I think him with a fairly weak centre-back pairing in, in Liverpool's uh, Martin Skirtle and Mamadou Sacco, they're going to need two defensive midfielders. And Lucas, for us, he's playing probably the best he's played um, in the last few years. I mean, he, he is really... He's not he's not favoured by people outside of Liverpool, but if you go to the game, it never shows up on the telly. He has been integral to us keeping uh, opposition to a low amount of goals. Um, he's offering more going forward as well. His forward passing has improved. The Manu Matic is the Manu Matic. Based on last season, he would literally just be the entire holding mid. Uh, I would actually play one further forward. But on this season, based on Liverpool's two centre backs, I think two two defensive midfielders. I'm trying to make a, a cultivated team here, a cultured team, and a team that might actually go out there and win a game of football. So there you go. There's my two midfielders. I'm going to play three behind one. Um, I'm going to go with Willian. Um, and I'm going to go with Coutinho on the left-hand side. Now, the centre was a bit of a struggle for me, to be honest. I mean, uh, Cesc Fabregas is not in form at the moment. Eden Hazard is not in form. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with Liverpool on this one. I'm going to go Roberto Firmino. And the reason that I've gone Roberto Firmino is, and I could have gone Oscar as well, don't get me wrong, is I've seen flashes of Roberto Firmino and... I think we've got a real top class player. Uh, now I've based the the rest of the team on on form so far this season, and I've changed it just for Roberto Firmino because I think he could really set this league alight. Um, if he's given a run of games, if he's injury free, I think that Jurgen Klopp's going to get the best out of him. So I've changed me, I've changed my tactics for this one player. Um, so there you go. And look, look at those attacking midfielders. What have they all got in common? And Oscar would play into this as well. They're all Brazilian. They all play with each other. Uh, international level and what I'm trying to say is I am trying to, to create a team here so that's why I've gone for those three attacking midfielders um, I think if you were if you didn't have the level of trust that I've got in Roberto Firmino throw Oscar in or throw Fresh Fabregas in absolutely fine with any of them to be perfectly honest with you and the forwards it's really tough because you know I'm, I can't I can't pick Christian Benteke because he's out with a knee injury. I can't pick Daniel Sturridge uh, because he's out with another injury of some description. Um, I don't want to pick Luke Remy because I actually don't think he's good enough to be a backup. I don't think he's good enough to lead the line here. Diego Costa's got a rib injury at the moment. And that leaves me with Falcao or Divock Origi to pick from. I ain't picking Falcao. So if Diego Costa's not fit... 
it's Div Okarigi, and I am flabbergasted that I've just said that because I've not seen anything from him this season that says he can score a goal. I've got a feeling, though, that Diego Costa's injury isn't as bad as Mourinho's making out. I think he'll play against Liverpool on Saturday, and for that reason alone, Diego Costa goes in up front in this combined 11. So there you go, I've got Begovic, I've got Klein, I've got Skirtle, Sacco, Azpilicueta, Lucas, Matic, Willian, Firmino, Coutinho and Diego Costa. I reckon that's a pretty decent side, to be honest with you. If you agree or disagree with anything that I've said, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to 100% Chelsea. And don't forget as, as well, if you really want to, come over to our channel, check out the videos that Eunice has done on our channel and subscribe to the Red Men TV to get all the latest fan cams, news, previews, skits and anything else that we produce on a regular basis. Anyway, Chris Pajak for the Redmen TV, hoping that Liverpool smash Chelsea at the weekend. Hi guys, Louis from 100% Chelsea. Now, Redmen TV have asked me to rate some of the Liverpool players. So, um, you know, I thought that's fairly interesting. So I you thought I'd give it a go. So to start off with, I'm going to give them a big fat zero uh, for everything. I'm only playing. I'm going to do this and be as honest as I 